at least five thousand minimum. That's Damn. Crazy. Per month. Yes. You know they're renting you, like, out. You live at the mall. There's old malls now that they're <laughs> turning so. into apartments. That, oh, that's like a brilliant idea. Malls. That's yeah. crazy. Which like people live like in an old Dillard's. Yeah, I'll be like, at the Kmart. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like I feel like there was a whole craze too when like millennials were like buying old abandoned schools yes, and turning them into apartment complexes. Yes. Yeah. Smart. And they're gonna do that with offices too because <laughs> everyone works from home now. Oh. In New York, I think it's like. Something like fifty percent of office buildings in New York. This might not be the exact step, but are just vacant and have no. There's no plans to ever repopulate them. So there's going to be like a big project, hopefully, to convert office buildings into apartments, affordable apartments. Well, we'll see. Probably not. It's, um, it is the most expensive time in American history to buy a house right now, too. No, it's so crazy. So like, congratulations to the homeowners and the group that have. Thank you. Like we got so lucky when yeah. we bought because the interest rate was so. I know. Really um, phenomenal interest rates. Yeah. Josh Peck was in Oppenheimer, though. That was kind of sick. Oh, I, I only saw memes about it. Everyone <laughs> being like, I heard it like took people them out of the movie. People were like gasping, where they were like, oh, Is that Josh Peck? Like, <laughs> Did you see Oppenheimer? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I heard you he have the like, double one feature. Line. Uh, no, I saw oh. Oppenheimer on Friday and then Barbie on Monday. Did you wear pink? I did because <gasps> I was with like Jess and Reggie and if Taylor. You don't have and... to, just because you're with women. Yeah. You well, I don't want to. I don't want to. You want to support? Yeah. I don't want to kill the vibe. I don't own anything pink. <gasps> wow. That tracks. <laughs> I don't. I Fragile don't. masculinity. I feel like you probably do. I think I've seen you. Wear I feel a like you definitely pink did. You definitely I, did, I did pop collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a pink polo where you popped your collar, right? Wait, recently? No, no, in like 2008. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you for sure. definitely were like, but not no, this is cool. Um, but. <laughs> do, is that a thing though? You should wear pink when you go see the Barbie movie. I mean, oh, if yeah. your friends want to do it, it's like, people are tweet? listening to this right now in September. They're like boring. <laughs> oh, yeah, this true. is so a month ago. I saw a tweet that I think we might have talked about it, but it was like I saw someone not wearing pink in the theater, and the cops <laughs> took her out, and then I heard gunshots. <laughs> 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 Twitter, but, the for you page twitter is so good I like know. what you I mean know, x, x sorry elon has made twitter terrible but that part of it it'll be is even so around. good i know by the time this comes out over. the for you page yeah the for you yeah. page on twitter it's the funniest like the for you tab. shit is it just all right wing insanity now no, no it's like yours is it's kind of like tiktok where it's like things you are interested in <laughs> yeah oh like for you and following it's, it's like so funny literally pop based taylor swift society Whoever oh, this wow. person is, Steve O. Tings. Taylor Swift is this weekend, right? This weekend and next week. Uh, here's a here's a thing. Why am I seeing articles about like take public transportation to avoid the traffic nightmare that's going to be the Taylor Swift show? Aren't there sold out shows at SoFi like every week? You don't understand. Why, <laughs> it's yeah. okay that your brain's so little. <laughs> Why is a there Taylor will be people camped out that don't even get to go in? Yeah, but for, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah. I'd love to tailgate a Taylor Swift. Well, we go is, when we go. It's yeah. like because like I saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers there. It was sold out. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Not comparing. But also like most people on Red Hot Chili Peppers are probably driving, so they're going and, like, to the adults. parking lot and like adults. Oh, it's like how many people go to? How this many is people a is pilgrimage. This? But but what I don't so think, there's only so many. There's so many thousand people getting an Uber. But there's. But like SoFi has a sold out concert, let's say, you know, twice a month, every week, whatever. I saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers there. There's a parking space. You park your car. You walk into but the I'm venue. Saying most people going are probably not going to be driving there. They're yeah, kind of this Ubering is like, oh, so it's all Ubering. So it's going to be like 70,000 people that, trying to get an there Uber. There will be probably like another like five to 10,000 people just standing outside of the stadium. To try and like listen? Yes. yes. Have yeah. you not seen the videos of people? I'm like, not... I, I got home at 4 a.m. Like I got home at 3 a.m. Because the concert ends at what, like 11 something? And they... Huh. It takes that long to get an Uber or whatever, which oh, sounds... Oh, okay, okay. That's, like, the one thing that, like, I've been like, oh, I, it's going to be a lot. You it's want a getting helicopter there and back. just to yes. take you out of there? No, yes. <laughs> I want to get pushed in like she is. How does he like get her out of there? Does Taylor stay at the... Sh does she sleep at the stadium that night? No. No, no, dude. No. But they have, but they have private parking but, yeah. for all their buses in the back that has a an probably, exit. I mean, she probably has like a house here. Or okay, something. Yeah, right. Yeah, that makes sense. But they definitely block off. Like when you play in a venue, there's always room just for the artists. Guess who was on my flight uh, yesterday? <laughs> Bj <laughs> Novak. <laughs> no, young Happy blood. Birthday. Young blood. Young oh, blood. He was on the hi? flight. No, but he looked right at me. But he didn't smile. Was he like, he was are you the like, kid that did the Beyonce phase? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, but no. Uh, yeah, he was. On wasn't the there an actor on your flight too? That was Joel like... McHale. Oh yeah, oh, I had two right. two celebs in a row. Damn. And who was on my flight going from uh, L.A. to Dallas? Wait, can we guess? Uh, I mean, not old, guess. Your parent, your parents would like him. I would Huey know. Lewis. 
No. Is it a man? It's a man. It's a man. Um, actor? Uh, I think he's been in some movies, okay, but so not, not huge. Musician. <laughs> uh, musician, yes. Bon Jovi. He, cl getting close, but I wouldn't say he's full 80s what hair airline? rock. Uh, American, <laughs> he was on American Airlines. Okay. He that was first class. <laughs> Uh, Ken Rock, yeah. Jovi, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, too famous. No. Bruce Springsteen would have his own plane. Yeah, Bruce. Bruce okay. flies private. Well, he's the boss. He's okay. kind of a if one. Bruce I would say he's kind of a like one hit bond. wonder. Like and you, was, you're probably right. Yeah. I don't know, you guys, I'm, I'm going to say one this. One uh, hit wonder. Uh, what does it start with? Dude. R. If you Rick, know. Yes. Rick Roll. No. <laughs> Rick, Rick Ross. Ross. <laughs> no. Rick. Rick, Rick Astley. Astley. No. Rick. Rick. That's my cat's name. Rick, Rick, Rick. Should I sing the song that he yes. sings? If you know the Jess, worst of us, Jesse Springfield. Yes, oh, Rick Springfield. Wow. Rick Springfield. Never know who that is. I don't is. even know what he looks like. Well, no. What's weird is I don't even realize I knew what he looked like. Well, I just see this man <laughs> with like long, cool hair. Yeah. And he had a mask on, uh, wearing shades in first class, and I'm wow. like, that looks. If that was somebody famous. That guy kind of looks like Rick Springfield. He had a big turquoise necklace on. I look up his Instagram. I go scroll down. Oh sure enough, I find <laughs> him wearing this turquoise necklace. And I go, that's Damn. 100%. What does Rick Springfield sing? Jesse is a friend. Just no, go to the chorus there. He's been a good friend of mine. <laughs> Starting off. No, actually, Jesse's the whole song. Good. No, 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 no. I'm going to do the whole song. Okay. Whole From everyone, number. put your phone on Jesse's silence. Jesse is a friend. No, he's been a good friend of mine. Lately, something changed. It ain't hard to get by. I can't Just not hear Sandoval. Girl, We're gonna get, I don't, oh, does he sing We're going to get demonetized. Yes. Is, is this song about That's, him stealing his boyfriend, his best friend's girl? You know, I wish that it's I like had Jolie's. Jesse's girl. <laughs> like he wishes that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But I don't think he crossed any lines. I sat behind. Although maybe um, the chorus it does get there. Monkey from Corn on the flight to Mo his name is Monkey. Is yeah. that the one with dreads? Uh -huh. That's the only person I would be able to recognize from yeah. Corn. Is like the guy with dreads. Is he white? Mm -hmm. I feel wow, like I'd recognize the singer King. of Corn, Jonathan Davis. Yeah. Name that one Corn one. song. <laughs> Freak on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> Hesitation. It's their big, yeah. But it was funny because then I spent the whole flight um, Wikipediaing this man and also corn, and I found out a really fun fact that will probably stick with me forever. But this kid, when I think it was their second album was going to come out, he, I mean, they were huge, and so he was wearing just like a corn logo shirt in school. Like nothing offensive was on it, and the principal or vice principal was like, "You're suspended for wearing that inappropriate shirt." And so then, like the news spread, corn donated all of these shirts to this radio station and then the radio station camped out outside of the school so sick and handed out their merch <laughs> to the students that as they ass. Went. that's so it's sick kind of punk god the fucking so the cool the right wing but, panic of the 90s like Marilyn corn, manson's gonna turn your kid into a 100 but corn looked terrifying yeah, yeah cool. the, 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 <laughs> those letters were letters of the devil like and <laughs> And yeah. the album cover with that sidewalk oh, and yeah. that little girl is yeah. leading all their kids to their death. Yes. That oh, shit was what? like, that shit spooked me. I remember I would just go in the CD aisle and pick it up and like shake, 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 shake. <laughs> and just look at it. It was just being, this is, this, this is music oh that will kill you. So but good. I bet I fuck with corn. I did love Slipknot though. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's scary. Name uh, a song. It's the only thing that only stops the air. I don't know any corn. I mean, Slipknot Slip, songs. Oh, Slipknot, man. All. I don't yeah, think. I don't think I know any Slipknot, but I definitely know corn. Yeah. System of a Down. Huge. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, violent Pornography. Whoa. Yeah, I remember that violent song. Violent Porn. Oh, <laughs> not do well. Thinking that get suggested on Google searches. Like, what were they thinking? Violent <laughs> Pornography. No results found. I was like 11 when that song yeah. came out, and my yeah. uncle saw that on my iTunes and was like, what are you listening to? And I was like, I didn't know what either of those two words meant. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. It's just a song. <laughs> oh, man. Apparently... This is what Nick Antonian told me is that the guitar player of System of a Down used to live in the house that his parents live in and <laughs> no, that's where no they way. that's that's where they wrote their whole first album was huh? in the Antonian's old house. <laughs> no, I, I no way. Wait, the house really? that like we've been to one yes, time? Yes, that house that like we've the, been like to. The apartment that they no, lived in. It's like a house. With the driveway on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, that yeah, it's house, apartment. Jonas told me many times, he's like, This is where Darren Malakian 
That's where they lived. <laughs> that's where they wrote I the first like album. I feel like there's a way to fact check it. I don't believe. I kind of. I don't believe that for a second. I don't think. <sighs> of course I do you don't. Either. I mean, it kind of tracks because like they're Armenian and they're in an Armenian neighborhood. Sismova Down is Armenian. They talk about it a lot. Like, but they're like a it's band. Possible. I feel like you need like a garage. And no, like but this is air. before they were famous. It's like back in he like had a, there was a there's a garage there. The early nineties. Yeah, there's a garage. Yeah. I don't know how we would find out if it's true. I should look it up and fact check it, but he was born in, in Glendale? Glendale, California. He still lives with his parents in that city. Darren Malakian lives with his parents. <laughs> I feel like, the, like, oh, well, maybe, or maybe Jonah they does. live with him. Jonah, I think, still lives with his parents. Well, <laughs> just every same Armenian story. Guy yeah. lives with their parents. <laughs> I wish that I, like, yeah, like address. He's only forty-eight. Only 48 to be living with your parents? <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, in terms of, like, the time that there was available for him to have lived in that oh, house yeah. when Jonah didn't. Yeah. Oh. When did, I wonder when they moved there. Probably, like, in the late 90s. That's wild, if that's true. He yeah. was born in 1975. It just doesn't sound true, but it, it probably is. It doesn't sound true. I bet he lived on this street. I don't believe he lived <laughs> in that exact unit. He's. I, I'm sure, like, there's probably a documentary about them, and we can we can see if there's like. I love videos of celebrities going it says back to their. He grew up in their... Hollywood. <laughs> Old houses. Mm. There's a there's a good subreddit called Preformances, <gasps> that's like all people who were performing before they were famous. Oh, it's a really cute. cool subreddit. It's like yeah. videos of like, here's Rage Against the Machine playing at a CD store. Yes, or there's there's one of uh, Mumford and Sons playing yes, at South by Southwest. What's that song? The Cave, or it's like, and oh, hold on, hope it oh, oh, yeah. They're at South by Southwest at a pizza parlor playing in the back, and people are just on the ground listening to the song. There's like, like nine just, people there. Nobody, That's every crazy. people are just like are bored with the song. People are like on oh their God. phones, but little what? do they know that it's within two years. This song would be on the radio. It's so interesting. Everywhere. It's like I feel like that's like how everyone starts. Yeah. Yeah. But yes. But okay. Yes. It says that he was brought up in a one bedroom apartment in Hollywood. Okay. And then when he was eleven This might be it. They saved enough money to buy a house in Glendale. Where he attended Roosevelt Middle School. We'll have to figure out the district. <laughs> we'll deconstruct this on our uh, true crime podcast yeah. next week. Yeah. It doesn't say. Um, it doesn't say. The address. Like, when was the band formed? You know In what I like mean? 1995, I think they were formed. 1991 to 1994. I feel like we could they, just DM him. He was in a band called Snowblind. Mm, that's an Ozzy Osbourne song. Oh. He fell off stage and the band broke up. Devastating. <gasps> because of his embarrassing. They, just, they never found him. Soil. <laughs> he, he fell he off. They so go, go? He never found him. <laughs> that was an well, Ozzy Osbourne song. Snowblind, Snowblind is an Ozzy Osbourne song. Was that on a New York Times crossword Jose. recently? Probably. Dude, did you fucking oh, see my crossword time Dude, buddy, yesterday? Buddy, I'm so proud of you. I forgot to say what that we walked it? in the door today. I solved a Monday crossword in six minutes and nine seconds. That's did, my fastest did you sit time. Down one, going, right? I'm going to make this the fastest um, I've ever solved it. You've had to have. You've had to have. Brother, I, normally I am not good in the brother, morning. Okay, when okay. I wake up in the morning, uh, my brain is, I, it doesn't operate for like the first hour of the day. But for whatever reason, I woke up yesterday morning and I was just like, I'm going to try the crossword today. And I got like, I halfway done. Immediately opened my eyes, just cranked through it. I was like, I'm halfway done. Let me just, I'm going to, I'm going to like pause this for now. And then I just checked the time and it was only two minutes in. And I was like, that was insane. I need to like get back to this when I'm awake. And then in the afternoon I had my coffee, like had a little bit of time in between. And I was like, let me see how quickly I can crank this out. That's amazing. Oh, it and like I, pauses it? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, the time is paused. It's paused. only when you have the app open, it times it for you. So, like, if you close the app, it's not timing it. But, like, so, like, for me, when I do in. the mini, I can close it and look it up and then go back. The mini. The mini. What the mini like... <laughs> you did it in a minute. No, sometimes I'll solve it in, like, 47 seconds. And yeah. I, I just think it'd be funny to, like, send to Matt and be like, <laughs> it's the mini. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the mini credit. should take you no. less than a minute each one. Okay. I mean, they do. Mini it. But sometimes it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not there yet. Yeah, no, I know. It, sometimes I know. it takes me, like, three hours. No, I'm it's kidding. Carly. I think the, the minutes, it's been like four or five minutes to do the mini. How many columns and rows? Like uh, three, it's like three, it's three, by three by three. Oh. No, <laughs> sometimes they're bigger. Uh, like a, a Sunday might be like a four I'll by four. I'll show you what it looks like right Thank now. Thank you. Um, but the best was, I saw. you know, sometimes what you'll do is you'll solve the crossword and you'll plug in the last letter. So all the spaces are filled, but you have something incorrect. Oh, yeah. So it will say, you're almost there, but try and find well, what your mistake small. was. Okay. Should we try to do it on air? No, that's going to be painful. What's the first clue? No, I already did it, I think. Um, 
But on this specific one, this is the last sentence, the second I typed in my last letter, I got it all right. Wow. So I didn't make one mistake the entire time. That's the worst when you make mistakes. And you're like, where is it? Because you could yeah. have just like spelled something wrong. But Usually that's the best like when you see that and you're like, oh, it's just this. Yes. Yeah, but you have to look through so many. God. Well, not on the mini. <laughs> it's only about five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the font is like perfect for an old elderly <laughs> me. Yeah. My routine every night is Wordle. The oh mini. my God, we're still doing the oh, Wordle. Oh yeah, every day. Wordle do you guys fun. do it? Yeah, uh, occasionally. Do you wow. start with the same word on your Wordle every yes. time? I want to start doing that because Ugh. I feel like also Ugh. one day everybody got it. Like Wolf or something? I don't know. It was like Connor, Wood got it, and uh, I had like three other friends all. But apparently they guessed. It was irate. They all uh, guessed irate because I think that's a great way of getting out three. Oh I think God. that's so cheap to start with the same word every day. Really? Yeah, because then it's like... Why? Just like I just do great G R E A T, and it's like there's some vowels in there. Yeah, but do you want to like mix it up and like maybe get even closer? Like, no, because I re I usually I solve treat. it within the third. Like by the third one, I'm usually solved it. Mm. <sighs> I throw. I try and like fuck myself. I'll just write like poops. Poops. <laughs> and I'll say nothing, and then <laughs> you don't use a double letter. No, I know. I, I like I like to challenge myself a little mm. bit. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but. Ugh. I do love that that guy got paid a million dollars because he made something for his wife. That's Ooh, so nice. Yeah, that yeah, that's sweet. really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like you don't really hear that story that often these days. Someone just like being a little sweetie. We'll be right back after a quick word from today's sponsor, Talkspace. As much as we hate to say it, summer is coming to a close. And I don't know about you, but the seasons do really affect me. Uh, I don't like when it gets darker. I love, I don't like when it's so, so cold in the winter. I love the summer. School's starting up, routines are changing, and transitions can be hard. It can leave you feeling low, but talking to a therapist could give you a real lift. If you weren't sure how to get started, Talkspace makes it easy to find a therapist that you like. So do you think that seeing a therapist or a psychiatrist would be helpful, but you don't actually have the time to find one, meet with them, or afford them? Try Talkspace. By doing everything online, Talkspace has made getting the help you want easy, accessible, and affordable. Don't wait, because some people can wait until something really bad happens before they talk to a therapist. But you can get a therapist through Talkspace. Therapy can help you shift your perspective, find tools to cope in difficult times, and be a guiding light. You can get started. It's the most important part because Talkspace makes it easy and affordable. At Talkspace.com, you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you, typically within 48 hours. It's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions with your licensed therapist from the comfort of your home. And Talkspace lets you send messages to your therapist so you don't have to wait for your next session. Talkspace will help with specific challenges that you might be facing. It's the number one online therapy platform with licensed therapists in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, substance abuse, relationship issues, and so much more. Talkspace is affordable and in-network with most major insurers. And as a listener of Good Influences, you'll get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com good. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash good to get $80 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash good. Now, back to the episode. Yeah. Do you play Connections? What's that one? What's that card? It's like, it's beta right now, but it's, um, I'm not going to explain it right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> is it on the... It's on New York Times. Oh, it's is like... that where you have to like drag the letters? No, no, no. That's, um... It gives you a bunch of words and you have to categorize them and you have like three tries and some of the words are similar oh. enough that you think that they're going to be in the same category, but they're not. I kind of like that. It's really fun. I love that. Wait, one. does it you provide you the categories and you're no. trying to move them? Oh, you have to type in what you think the category Ooh, is? No, you, Plays, you, <laughs> you click like four of them and it'll be like, they're like, you got it or it'll her say you oh, didn't get it. You pick the group of words that you think all relate. Yes. So you don't know say. what the groups are. <coughs> okay. So it could be like cat, dog, wolf, bear. Car. But like and bear isn't a part of it because there's other things that are like <laughs> TV shows, the bear, oh. Adam's family. It'll It's oh. confusing a little bit. So it seems easy, but then you're like, fuck. You got yeah. games on your phone? <laughs> I sure do. I got the mini you right got here. Games on you your phone? I have no, I don't really have any other like game games on my phone it's all either. word games like if a little kid was like can i play something i'd be like i saw games from 2008 when i got my first iphone that i just keep like transferring <laughs> it's so fun to play like what what do you aaron doing? has heads up i have heads up bitmoji that's, that's not really a game well you can dress them <laughs> daily crossword <laughs> what is that like the crossword for it's slower like minds <laughs> um, oh my god <laughs> 
uh, New York Times game, Sudoku. New York Times has Sudoku on it, right? I hate Sudoku. <gasps> I love Me Sudoku. Too. It makes no sense. It's I've okay never even if came... your little teeny brain doesn't know sense. how to do I, it. I, I've sense. never even come close to solving one. I, what? I do not understand it. I can't figure out what you're supposed to do. Wow. It doesn't make sense to me. The lack of intelligence, you know? It's just like, but I don't feel like you learn much playing after well, a game of Sudoku. Well, you don't have Sudoku. to learn anything, but it's, it's, just like mo- a, it's a mind yeah. uh, um, challenger. Yeah. And it's, it's good for your organizing. And... It's like old people doing crosswords. It's like the same thing. Or young people doing crosswords. Yeah, but like, I feel like when Keeps people get the older, yeah, they're no, like, do a crossword puzzle every day. Yeah. And like... I feel like crosswords will get easier the older we get because we'll our generation will really start controlling the world and it will <laughs> it like will be words simultaneously forgetting things dude i played you're a crossword like, from the 80s that? i played a crossword from the 80s and i knew nothing yeah it's really oh. tough oh, just, wow because how do you do that uh like online well i played it because i don't know patricia's grand par- parents like passed away and we were going through and there was a huge oh. thing of crosswords i'm like oh. i'm gonna play this and i couldn't solve anything were the clues because, just so dated yeah just really dated things it's probably but... tough for gen should z be in the kitchen i played a trivial pursuit from the 80s i fucking well trivial pursuit junior it was just straight up racist Really? It was unbelievable. Oh my yeah. god. Do you remember DVD Trivial Pursuit? And no. I hated that one. No, I like the game. Yeah. It was like a movie one. It was like, or Seen It. You remember oh, Seen It? Yes. Oh, yeah. Like you'd go over to some kid's house, you're like, let's play Seen It. But they had memorized everything <laughs> on the DVD. <laughs> yeah. So they would just shout it out. Like, well, that's and, what's nice about Trivial Pursuit. There's like hundreds and hundreds of cards. Yeah. yeah. I like the ju- Trivial Pursuit Junior is fun because. Uh, oh, yeah. Then you like actually know stuff. <laughs> what color is. <laughs> I bought a yeah. 90s right. Trivial Pursuit and I didn't know any of them. Dang. It's so much harder than you would think it's it is. It's hard. It was like, who is the vice president's wife? Yeah. From 90s. 1982 to you gotta eight, get and I'm the like, junior. Ju- that, that's that sounds fair. The junior, yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just like cuter. Yeah. Uh, there was another. Oh, I feel like Gen Z has a tough time with the crossword puzzle of today. Because there's a lot of references to things that are from like the 90s and early 2000s that tough, like tough deal with it. <laughs> Be curious, learn about it. I watched I Love the 80s and 70s when I was a kid. <laughs> I was curious about past decades. I was not here for like there was there was I a also feel like they're not doing that. There was a recent there was yeah, a recent know, clue like, that was. Not, do you know? Are you, <laughs> maybe uh, learn something. Maybe yeah. learn something. Maybe curious about pop culture and history. There was a recent clue that was jump the shark. Do you guys know what this clue means? You we said talked it. about this on this episode yeah. last okay. time we recorded. Okay. You Do you not have like Jumped memory? I mean, I don't have from memory. Don't happy remember. days or whatever. Okay, you're right. We did talk about oh. this. I'm sorry. God. It's okay. I don't know. I just you want to make sure That's you're doing too. okay. <laughs> Late and jump the shark. Yeah. One more and you're gone. Yeah. You don't remember? You're like, oh, can your little teeny crow brains understand what jump the shark means? <laughs> what is jump the shark? Maybe don't. I, am, I know you're cool. I've never. You're the only one that accuses people of having teeny brains, okay? <laughs> Maybe maybe we should turn the mirror back on you and see how yeah. you feel. Next time you point a finger, I'll point you to the mirror. Wouldn't it be so cool if we all got Look brain scans it. on all of our... See how everyone's brains I'm are doing. I'm horrified of I, doing I don't want to know anything what's up like in that. there. But don't Probably you want to do that full well. body scan? I do want to do the... Uh, <laughs> so then we just find out who has cancer. No, I know. It's like, I don't want to find out anything. I know. What do you find out? What can they actually tell? It's a whole body MRI. But what are they going to tell you? They can... Zane see, they can see this, anything. Did it? Yeah. Did he get results? He did the Pranuvo? Is that what's called Pranuvo? No, he did this like really big, huge scan for. Uh, what is it? Oh, Zane also was, was convinced he had testicular cancer <laughs> and did a whole big cancer thing. He probably did a DEXA scan, Maybe. which is like a health thing. Oh, Wait, he did a did DEXA did scan. Zila? That's what it was called. But then also, Zane did a really bigger scan on his body to see if he had cancer. I think that those things are just oh. scams. Oh, shoot. Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you at the p- uh, parking lot for the Ralphs thing? Spot number one. Hold on. Sorry. Patricia's picking up the groceries, but I ordered the pickup thing on my app. And so... Um... No, no. This is riveting. Let's keep it in. <laughs> Buddy, we talked about cats for 15 minutes. <laughs> I've never gotten more DMs. These two dodo birds today. Than, I know. <laughs> than when I posted Rick. The amount of people that are invested oh. in my... Cat journey. Yeah. I, I didn't realize how many people fucking love cats. Yeah. It's a whole community, baby. 
Especially when you have one, then you're like interested in other people. I do want to get her groomed. I feel like she could use a good grooming. Yeah, yeah, and a little vet appointment. Also. Yeah, vet and groomed. <laughs> I know she had she had poop in her butt yesterday too, Aww. like dried poop in her butt, and I like had to yank it out. Aww. Look at you! Oh. I do that with Frank ones. What spot is it, babe? <laughs> okay, I came up with a good game on this watch. What is it? So there's a stopwatch, and I just hit the button. And then I try and stop it on okay. exactly 10 Love seconds. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Love you. Wasn't that like an app? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, the it was an, one. an Instagram yeah. filter. So I just, yeah. I figured out I could just play that on my, <laughs> damn. I'm sorry, you guys, for that. <sighs> you know what? I just, you guys are just too unprofessional for me. Yeah, see, I knew Erin was going to be upset. <laughs> yeah, she's so upset. It's funny because I feel like you actually think that. <sighs> I know. Do you think she's upset? No, I just don't like disappointing Erin. <laughs> Why? No one's disappointed. <laughs> Because she'll remember. <laughs> and what's so bad about that? Nothing I'm just being wrong. your therapist right now. Uh, oh, yeah. what's, what's wrong with you thinking that she's remembering? Because I look, I look up to Erin. Like okay. I like, I like having Erin's like approval on things. But like, do you no, need her approval? I know she, I know she, I know Erin really thinks deeply and feels deeply, mm. and I, and you, be, <laughs> you and you of... feel very strongly about whatever it is you're thinking or feeling. And mm -hmm. I'm just always worried about like venturing into that and I cause or instigate something. And then I'm worried that you have like a file. And you're like, oof, I remember <laughs> that. I remember that. And I've just known you longer and longer and longer. I'm just so worried. I would say Aaron is someone who does not hold a grudge. Oh, oh that's absolutely that's false. false. Really? I hold grudges when necessary. Like, okay. I, well, I don't really, mm, I wouldn't say it's like, no, I do hold grudges, but I, I would say like I'm more so like I can move on from things, but I don't forget like the file. Be, that's what he means by yes. file. I think I have definitely like a Rolodex. <laughs> Um, See, I don't, I'm but, just, paper. but the phone call for Patricia trying to figure out the grocery spot is not, not making the roll of there. X. Yeah, oh, okay. that doesn't get like, filed. We were doing a we're fine time like on our own. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but like, yeah, I will hold grudges against people who deserve a grudge to be held. But isn't it like it's kind of like binary? It's like once you're in bad with Aaron, you're done for life, and then if you're okay with Aaron, it it's depends. Okay. No, it, it, yeah, it's like I forgive you, but I do not forget. <sighs> And sometimes I don't forgive you. Cold blooded. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Cold just blooded. like it's what needs to be done. Why would I want someone in my life who's not a good person? Matt's. <laughs> but I've had full on like heart to hearts with you, right? Yeah. That I feel like in a way have like. I don't like... think you're a bad person. Yeah. 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 Carly yeah. was. But if I felt like there had, <laughs> but if yeah. I felt like there had to have been something like I needed to talk to you about, I would like sit and talk with you about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like non. I, I'm not non-confrontational. I certainly with you. wouldn't be sitting here. <clears throat> yeah. If your if file I, was yes, I know. And if I felt like bad. something was up, I would sit down and talk with you to check in. Stamp. I'm not scared stamped. about like confrontation. I like having it. I think you are sometimes. I don't know what, when it's necessary. Like hmm. if I feel like I really dropped the ball with somebody, I'll sit yeah. down and I'll talk with that person and acknowledge my mistakes. But I don't know. I don't like confrontation. I don't, and I realize I don't because I like the aftermath of it. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's good, but I'm always so scared of, like, what someone's going to say back because in my mind, I'm always wrong. Oh, I'm just, a f I don't want to, like, hurt anybody. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a good way to, like, be, yeah. like, you're not, like. But sometimes it's, like, but, like, the thing I'm saying wouldn't even be something that would probably upset anybody. Yeah. Like, that's... it's just, like, well, what if it hurts their feelings? Yeah. yeah, it's almost always worse in your head than it is it in is reality. It is always. 100%. I just wish I had guns loaded all the time. Like, <laughs> like conversational <laughs> guns yeah. loaded. Where yeah. it's, like, the one time you really want to, like, speak your mind or say something and, like have the the gut and the balls to like call someone out and then they want to snap back at you and then you already like have an even better comeback at that it's that yeah like i want Rather to have like because like, i'm always worried like i really want to say this but they might say something really mean towards me but i want to have it right back but that's not that's not like mindful confrontation that's just like yes. you're, you're preparing for a fight it's uh, not, but I'd rather just have the well. No, I just want to go in and just be stoic and confident. And be yeah. like, I'm sorry. Nope, this is it. Oh, you want to talk about that? Well, I got you here on that. See, so what, this is how I feel. That to me seems funny. like problematic because a, conf a conflict is supposed to be two people or whoever many people having a talk or whatever and trying to resolve it together. Not you did this. It's, you did this. It's you. It's you. And, it's yeah. you and that person versus the problem. You're talking about it as you versus the it's person. Like but if you want to resolve a conflict, you have to approach it as. 
we are on the same team and there's a problem here. You're looking at it like, well, I'm going to say this to you. You're going to say this to me and then you're going to win. It's not. Hold on. No, no, no. I understand that. I'm pretty good about keeping it like, I, yeah. focused on it. I'm just worried that it would derail into something else. Yes. And then the thing I want to talk about, right. I would try to keep it there. But I know people who if I had arguments with, they'd be like, they'd want to derail it. Yeah. And I wish I was just like, OK, if we're going to your tempo of your but if music, they derail, you say, yeah, we're not talking just, about that. right Yeah, now. let's let's stay on track here. And you yeah, gotta, you got to be you want to practice. We'll do some debates sometime. Sure. You did speech and debate. Yeah, he's good at debate. I don't know if you know. I, I was like... not. Okay. I say I did speech and debate. I did not do debate. I was oh. on the speech team. I say speech and debate because people understand speech and debate in their head more. Does that make sense? So, so you're an imposter. Like if you yeah. did, if you're a fraud. So it's like everything you had, you had like memorized. Yes. Yeah. And oh. performing. But I say they speech and be debate honest. because if you say speech team, people go speech team. But if you go speech and debate, people go, oh, yeah. Speech and debate. So maybe we can practice the debate part. Uh -huh. Cool. The part that you've been lying about. I also feel time. like a lot of the times the confrontation, like to your point, I feel like for you it's like specific people that like you already know how they're going to <clears throat> react. So you yeah. want to you want to mirror their. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I just That's I a good think. Point. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I know what you mean. I just. Which I knew what I was going into was just like a safe space with somebody. Mm -hmm. Like if I had to argue with my brother, I know my brother is going to have the best approach for an mm -hmm. argument mm -hmm. and aiming towards a resolution. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I think a lot of times it's like an ego battle with people mm -hmm. rather than it's like a constructive conversation. Yeah. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm just sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just never had to deal with it until like my first like real relationship, and then it was just didn't do didn't go over well. <laughs> Like, if I had a problem, it'd be like, well, oh, it's actually yeah. my problem. I didn't know that. Like, it would be turned around. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm just always on this verge of, like, I don't want to give a fuck, but then I feel like I'm an asshole if I don't. Extreme. Well, I think it depends on, like, what it is. Yeah. Like, if it's something it's that anything. you genuinely like, oh, I don't care about that, then you should just let it be that. But if it's, like... No, it, it is so many things where it's, like, I can tell <laughs> you, like, Patricia... Okay, like... Patricia was just like, I don't know, giving me a hard time about something so silly and so small and just normal something where mm -hmm. you just like are like, uh, hello, like, what are you doing here? Like, yeah. And, it, you know, she grew up in the middle of two brothers. This is something so small. And yeah. the moment I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I realize it's the way I'm reacting. And she's like, it's fine. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> you all, just take the joke. Move on. Yeah. It's done. Why am I always in this zone of like. Am I like defense? Am I now in trouble? Did I do something that yeah. was that bad? When it's like, yo, so I just am on this verge of well, I need to be like, all right, whatever, fuck off. I'm done. Like, yeah, I still marry on. <laughs> Embracing that side of thinking, be, leaning into that is just like, I need to do it more often, but I just feel like an <laughs> asshole if I do it. What's yeah. the middle word on Aaron's shirt? I'm my therapist's favorite. What's yeah, that, what's that damn middle right. word? Therapist? You could. Should yeah, maybe benefit a maybe a therapist. I know. Maybe I need. I feel I, like you are, like are on the way to like like yes. you understand all of these things that you do, and a therapist could like help explain to you why you do these things and implement it. Yes. Yeah. No, I know. I do. I do. I I have benefited from having therapy. I haven't gone back to it because my health insurance changed, and then I've also learned that there's better health insurances, and I've been like, well, I'm just gonna wait. Because I don't, if I'm going to switch my health insurance, I don't want to have to then catch up with this whole new therapist yeah. for gossip. So yeah. I'm just going to wait until January. <laughs> I also will say a lot of the, what I've been told, people who use health insurance, most of the time, like the therapists aren't going to be as good. I heard that too. Yeah. Which what made me mean? feel better about paying a billion dollars a month for my health yeah. insurance or for my like, therapist. Be, uh, it's like the way that they practice is like different than people who have like their own oh practice. yeah i well when i was looking for one i went to like three different ones mm -hmm. and or four and three of them were just like clocking in and clocking out for a job no, and, and they were just like we're gonna get the billable hour from the insurance yeah. company like yep. see you later but then i found one that she's her own practice but has takes insurance oh, nice. and it's like yeah yeah it's, i feel it's, like that's like the way to go like yeah. one of my really good friends she had a kaiser yeah. and had a therapist through them but they're very much like okay yeah like once you're cured like you're done yes you're done, that's yeah. what you're I done. Have. which that's is like okay but that's like not yeah, a thing that's not that how happens. it works yeah and i've like, had mine for like two years six years uh, he 
just got like new insurance and they give you like 10 free therapy sessions and like he's done therapy before like with people outside of it and like he's like this is just oh, oh the really? free ones yeah and the thing is i'm not i don't find myself being that anxious i don't feel like i am depressed it's just i have these well, you don't like have to be depressed to go to therapy no right no i know but i have these like structural things in like the core of my personality where i'm like i need to fix that yeah, mm-hmm. but that's what like, a little bit kinder to myself. That's what th- I'm hard on myself. Yeah. I feel like therapy also just the name of it is if it was rebranded as like brain exercise. Therapy. <laughs> 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 All right. Or just like I don't know, like pay me because it seems like it's a pay it's, a, it's yes. a place of rehabilitation, like physical therapy. Right. They think yeah. that oh something is wrong and therefore you're trying to fix it. It's more like it's a more... personality, like a weekly personality audit. Like, or, uh, you know, <laughs> that's what they call it. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to my <laughs> weekly <laughs> personality audit session. Yeah. Uh, it's like a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> maintenance, maintenance. That's how yeah, it feels sometimes. I guess. I don't know. But then sometimes I don't have anything to talk about. And I'm like, I'm dreading this hour that I have to yeah. pay almost $200 for. Can you just cancel if you don't feel like you're No, like... I mean, she lets you cancel, but you can't cancel like within the week because she's mm. so like, yeah, so. Mm. It's not fun. I wish I could go twice a month, but I don't think that's really an option. Why? I don't know. It's just not with my therapist. Twice a month? Wait, are you going every, of every week? Every other week. Oh. I, I, Wait, that's every pretty... other week? Like, I would want to do that. Oh, yeah. Do yeah, you yeah. go in person or is it on Zoom? I used to, but it just zoomed since pandemic. Mm. She Thanks. said you could come back in, though, right? If you wanted. <sighs> yeah, but like, I can't usually because, well, yeah. yeah. I don't want to, though, it's so far. <laughs> well, yeah. But. Yeah. yeah. Zoom, zoom, I thought I would zoom. hate Zoom. Or it's not Zoom, but it's something like it. I thought I would hate that for therapy and I actually I'm so used to it. Yeah. It's like no Are different you looking to me. at her the whole time? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's on video. Do you do it on your phone or laptop? I like just laptop. sitting there in the Chase Lounge looking at the <laughs> ceiling and just spilling it out. <laughs> She's like, yeah. 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 What else do you think is kept up there? Is my in is, my head? In, no, no, in Aaron's. Is my being late today in your Rolodex? No. Okay. <laughs> is mine scaring you in the backyard no. in your Rolodex? No. I know. Oh yeah, this is fun. What's in Aaron's Rolodex? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Is there anything like I, from us in your Rolodex? Um. But the thing is, you no. have boundaries, so I'm not gonna like sit there and probably be like, "Can I ask you like deeper stuff about this?" Though I'm so curious. There's stuff I really want to ask you about, like in your personal life. That I've always wanted to ask you. We'll be right back after a quick word from today's sponsor, Ghostbed. Are you ready to unlock the secret to a truly restful night's sleep? We have the perfect solution for you. Brought to you by our friends at Ghostbed, the family-owned business that's been revolutionizing the way we sleep. Ghostbed is not your ordinary mattress. With their signature and patented cooling materials, they have created the ultimate sleep sanctuary. Say goodbye to restless nights and hello to the most refreshing slumber you have ever experienced. What sets Ghostbed apart is their unwavering commitment to quality. For over 20 years, they have been dedicated to crafting mattresses that stand the test of time. No shortcuts, no compromises. They use only the highest quality materials to provide you with the most supportive and comfortable mattress imaginable. And here's the best part. Ghostbed believes in the power of experiencing their product firsthand. That's why they offer a 101 day sleep trial. Take your time to truly immerse yourself in the Ghostbed experience. If you're not completely satisfied, they will make it right. Most Ghostbed orders ship within 24 hours so you could say goodbye to long delivery times and hello to better sleep sooner. For a limited time, head to ghostbed.com good and use code good for 40% off your purchase site-wide. And now back to the episode. Ooh. Huh? I feel like I... Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron's the most open, I feel no, like. No, no, no. But I feel like it's like it's a little like private or personal in your own life. <laughs> See, there's stuff, okay, that's okay. There's stuff up like, there were that you I'm very, as a child. Like, that, what that do you want I to am know? very interested in. Well, you, but also, I feel like you have privately explained to us some stuff that I've now, like, I kind of understand. Huh? I don't know. Well, okay, sorry. Then cut that out if that was like too much of a weird tangent. No, I think well, it's, you just don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I feel like maybe it's a, like a projection because you have boundaries. No. 
So it's like oh, things. No, I, I think these like, are things I that I want to ask you about that I wouldn't but, talk about on the podcast. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you meant like in general. No. Oh, no, podcast I think it's, boundaries. it's po- oh, No, it's podcast okay. boundaries. And then, no, uh, okay, but that there was were, not really there, are, there were stuff where it's like, I was really curious, like, to kind of know how Whitey died, but then you were like, no, I'm not talking about it. Okay. And so then I'm like, okay, I'll never know yeah, how Whitey well, died. <laughs> I kind of I kind of would like, tell her. That was like days after. <laughs> Like, it was just, like, too fresh. It'd be, okay. like, if, like, your mom died, and then, like, three days later, I was like, how'd she die? <laughs> right. Okay. I guess you know? it was a few days after. I thought it was kind of, like, a week Maybe or like a two week. after. Yeah, well, and I thought like I would still hear take, the story. Yeah. Yeah, the but I was still, still, like, still haven't heard about how it happened, and I don't want to ask, because oh. then I was worried you would be upset of going, like, that's really none of your business. Okay. But I would never do that. <laughs> Has anyone when ever, have I said ever that done you? that? Like, I feel like if anyone here, I'm probably the most open. For sure. Yeah. Has anyone ever said that to me? Yeah, yes. no one's ever said to you, Matt. Uh, that's none of your business. But you say it all the time. Oh, yeah. I say, as a joke, I, I know, say it to people. I know, but I think that's that's like in your head, it's like, you are rejecting. But then it's like, okay, if she said, it's none of your business. I think that's, I just had what's... moments as a child where I was a very like, so what's the scoop yeah. on that? And I just had like some moms or people like, just be time. like, that is none of your business. And I'm sorry. And that hasn't happened though in like 20 and years. Like, and they go tell my mom and they're like, you can't can't ask people that kind of stuff. Right, you'd be like, why did they get divorced? Yeah. And or, or, like, like, oh, we had a neighbor one time and the cops were at their house and I was like, why were the cops at your parents' house last night? Yeah. And the kid would be like, hey, talk to my dad. My dad told you to mind your own fucking <gasps> business. That's like I such a normal question. Kid, yeah. Lucas, what this kid Lucas just told me that. And like, granted, you hear I was, that, Lucas? <laughs> I don't know, because his dad and his mom got in a fight, but I was like, what happened? Yeah. I saw the cops no, across like the street. it's so normal to be in, like, want to know. Yeah. yeah. Of course. And I just remember just like, but that was 20 years ago. Yeah. My dad told me to mind your fucking business. <laughs> you're taking it out on me. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, it doesn't, it's not, that person's not asking you that question Therapy. anymore. You're, yeah. you're an adult. You can ask any question you want. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're right. And he found out anyway, right? They were in a domestic dispute. Yeah, he fucked around and found out. <laughs> <laughs> Same way Whitey died. <laughs> well, that's how Whitey died. She now. fucked around and found Is out. Is that what happened? No. <laughs> Was it an accident or was it like a progressional no. thing? Have it, you shared she, the story? She had, I, mean, I don't I, think I have anywhere. Do, uh, she had kidney disease. Uh, and basically she had been on this like potassium supplement in her food because like kidney disease affects your whole body, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And then one morning we woke up in her head. Like mm. it was just like a weight. Like you tried to lift it up and it would go down. I was like, okay, we oh. got to bring her. And Basically, what happened was they were just like, oh, her potassium is really low. She would have had to spend like two nights in the ER because with potassium, you can't just like give them a ton of it. It has to be a gradual amount over a certain amount of time. And then it basically just got to the point where we were like, okay, well, why wasn't she eating her food that had the potassium that she needed? And so it's kind of just like a this is what was going to continue happening forever. And like we would have to probably start giving her injections and Mm -hmm. like those kinds of things. And it just like. I mean, we were there for like two hours and we were like, I Wait, mean, what? this is just like unfair to her. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. But now we're at a point where we can talk about yeah, it. Wow, I, I can't know. believe you asked. How dare you? Yeah, that's <laughs> actually none of your business, Matt. <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah, but also, like, when you asked to, I was like, I don't want to talk about it. I wasn't like, that's in your fucking business. <laughs> yeah, she was like that with me. I mean, it was like, we had book club and you're like, I just don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. Which like, I totally yeah. understood. It's like when you go through a breakup, you don't want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, like, you're just like, no. don't tell anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's in my Rolodex. When what? Carly didn't tell me for a month that her and her boyfriend <laughs> broke up. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I was too scared uh, to tell anybody. Whoa. I know. Mm-hmm. It's in your Rolodex? It is. Oh. Well, it's just like one of those things that I'm like, is it like why? How do you not tell someone? <laughs> I, 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 agree no, I with understand you. that. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. It's you're really also out of, I know, but you're also out of town, and I was like, I'm not going to bother her with this. Well, we were also together for a whole. Well, that time. it wasn't like final though. Yeah. I thought maybe we'd push through. Hmm. Would and you we say it's on a degree of like embarrassing or why? Because like it's something that you've been working on and it's like been your a relationship is like your happy place. And then mm-hmm. knowing it's in a state of like crumble or turmoil, it takes a lot of like guts to like open up yeah. and let everyone problem, know, hey, I don't want to be like over. a burden or like cry in front of somebody. Yeah. And it's like, I'm just going to cry if I talk about it. Yeah. And you for me, I was me. like, <laughs> totally. And I should have you like. Could've. 
next. <laughs> I know. I'm no, really sorry if no. that really bothered you. No, it's fine. But like, I, I think, think about it, sorry like, her relationship day. ending was uncomfortable for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> no, it's just like because it's like my best friend. No, so I'm I like, know. oh I, my yeah. god, who? If they told anyone, they're just yeah, like been if, living. I know with this yeah. secret pretty yeah. much. I was just like, <laughs> and it was so casual. She was like, oh, by the way, we broke up, and I was like, sorry, what? No, I've like, I remember I picked you up and we we're going yeah. to David's house, and I was like, um, I just want to let you know that. No, you did cry. I did cry. I remember. No, not then. I was like tearing up. Okay, but there were no tears. <laughs> well, it felt like it. You did cry a, a previous time. Oh, yeah. Which, that was, that was, I was like, that was the first time I think I ever saw Carly cry. And I was like... I remember the first time I saw Carly cry. Yeah, and you were like, you're so... You're just a pretty cry. You, you are a pretty oh. cute cryer. Yeah. Thank you. My eyes get really blue. I know. Mm-hmm. It was it was great because I was like, oh, thank God we don't have to film a video today. <laughs> <laughs> Carly's too distraught. We can just lay on the couch. <laughs> Wait, when? It, it was like when things first got a little rocky okay and you like came over and like i was just under the impression everything was great i'm just like during the day and she came in and just started crying i was like what happened who died like (laughs) yeah i keep a lot of things in for sure yeah i also feel like that was like your first like big relationship yeah and like navigating that and like what you share with people on the internet and stuff too it was just like i didn't want to tell anyone online for so long so i was like i don't for some yeah. reason, I thought I'd get, like, bullied in a way. I don't know why, but yeah. it was fine. But I was also, I wasn't that much younger. But I felt, I feel like I was so much younger then than I am now. Like, 100%, I would handle it the same Like, way. you are a different person today than you were then. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, oh, that's it was pre-pandemic, nice right? I mean, it was, like, 2019. No, no, yeah. no. I wasn't, not a good way. Oh, oh <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, you are. Like, really? fully different human. In a good way? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's what my therapist says, but I was like, I don't see it. No, oh, my God, you are. Oh my god, fun. Yeah. Like in what ways? <laughs> How, she's feel, a different person. Yeah. Like yeah. I feel like you really like come into your own. <gasps> um more I confident. Think both yeah. of you two are completely different people. Oh, but I mean, you I for absolutely the worse. am. Probably. <laughs> like you used to be great. <laughs> no, I used to be an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you used to be an alcoholic? Oh, Aaron idea. was a ham. Or like yeah. you, I mean you still are a ham, but like Yeah, I party was out animal? Of con- just like party crazy fun, animal. Yeah. Yeah, still fun, but just like not as crazy, crazy. Yeah, I'm, I've mellowed out. But you'll have like, but you'll still have your moments when there's something going on. Oh yeah, no, yeah, like, like I love having night. fun, but like I can't. I'm not the ringleader anymore. Have you ever yeah. just straightened your hair, done a side part, and like <laughs> tapped into your Cosplayed. own self? Just like, <laughs> oh god, that would be funny. Look at us. It is fun and like kind of sentimental to watch like old vlogs, like in our old apartment sometimes they'll just pop up on my recommended and i'm like damn uh, I know. I know. we just like didn't care about anything like, like it was a different crazy. lifetime yeah, yeah. Like, really. it was all new and exciting then too i know <sighs> well any other we were so young therapy questions so like my favorite part of back to school was when you go <laughs> to the no i literally said to her i was like what are we going to talk about what our favorite binders were yeah that was my Five favorite star go yeah. on. <laughs> that was my favorite thing is like august 20th you get to go to like target and pick all your school oh, supplies. Okay, rich I mean, rich. I still get nostalgia. Like, when I see back-to-school stuff, I'm like, I want all of that. Yeah, I, I want guys, the markers. I want, I want the pen. Did, yeah. did you guys ever have the thing where you could buy school supplies in a pack? Like, no. you didn't have to go to the store. No, and that is such a cop-out. Yeah, yeah. that sucks. It was, like, saran wrapped up. I've and seen like, those. Yeah, yeah. We would work that. I'm going to buy green for science and blue for math. And Would you match your binder to your... Yeah. Me too. And I didn't use anything. I never took one note. I didn't use well, one for like notebook. A week. Not even. I just, oh. I, my parents would be like, well, why don't you just reuse what we bought you last year? And like the cover would be different. So I'm like, oh, I'm not using last year's cover. Well, now you understand fashion. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. With all the strikes, we won't be able to do all of our outfit reviews. Yeah. The Emmys. How Canceled. dare the strike happen? Wait, what's happening? Because the, the writer strike. strike. They won't do the award shows? The Emmys are 100% being pushed. Yeah, because it's like... So we're not going to be able to do... Like, what what content will we have? Well, there's VMAs still. Or, or we could go Maybe. and look at, like, a 2003 and do, like, a vintage That's one. That's true. You're right. Like what two- would happen if, like, musicians went on strike? Does, like, the radio stop playing music? <laughs> there's no... Spotify shut do down. You, you go to the club and it's just, like, quiet? I mean, I could honestly see something like that happening because... I don't think so. Because music movies are still being played. Yeah, and musicians are not really in a union. There's like they writers. Would start probably yeah. doing concerts. Okay, but like you wouldn't go into a restaurant. And it's like sorry, we're not playing music anymore. We're in support of the. <laughs> no, this is a Kurt Vonnegut novel, dude. Let's not. I, I thought that would just be freaky. Like 
If there was just no music, <laughs> music being played. Maybe play podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Coachella, it's silent. It's just yeah. It's just silent as go. Can just we, fucking pay people. Can we do a vintage m- review? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to pick I- the year? Yeah. That'd you, be a good uh, idea. The year in the preference of awards? Sure. Okay. I feel like, oh. the, find like the 98 VMAs would probably be insane Ooh, to look yeah. at. Okay, great. And like All the Oscars from 2001. Do you want to do it for the next 9/11 week? The 9-11 year. <laughs> what? <laughs> want to film it on Monday? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Not, okay, the we'll nine just, eleven. Yeah. Yes. I wish we could film every different type of video. What does that mean? With us four. Like, you know, like... If we did a video on us just reacting to like every decade, like I know that would be so awesome. Yeah, what do you mean? Like the nineties? Yeah, we just go through the decades. But it <laughs> just like crazy. Like the TV shows on VH1. Kind of. Yeah. yeah like, I'm way, not editing not, this. No, not one on one stuff. No, this. I mean if we just had like our full on like studio, we just like did this yeah. like all the time. Or like we just the, had it came up on bits. the screen. Yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. Someone had it prepared for us. I would just could do that all day. Mm-hmm. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, Britney Spears, 1998. Not VMAs. him. Yeah, the, our producer. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's go eat. Bless you. I'm God Storby blesses like you. Marvin. Okay, well, let's go like eat. Marvin. Do you know what that's from? Like Marvin the Martian? Because I'm starving like Marvin, girl. Wait, is that where familiar. it's from? What is that? Well, it's probably from something originally. Like, like Marvin, Marvin the... girl, yeah. I got 16 balls of fur. Because my first that... one was like, like Sammy and Dean Martin, Martin and, and I got, got so many keys, you think I'm ballet part? If we see it, they got, oh. They got, I got so many Bad keys. Bad Boys <laughs> 2, the soundtrack. Is this Puff Daddy? It's a shake your tail feather. Oh. Oh, oh girl, you heard the bad boys come in. <laughs> well, get up now, I got to tell you my brother. Yeah, because we got to run until the lights come on. And my soul stops by until the lights come on. You like a big booty tight. I like I think what they mind, right? <laughs> Man, that was like such a staple rap song Jesus in our like just extremely white people. Yeah, this is why our demographics are. All right, y'all. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Goodbye.